Hey everyone, this is Ben. Let's see how we can send push notification to our Vue.js app by using Firebase Cloud Messaging or FCM. Let's do it. First, go to the Firebase console and create a new project. Then create a web app. OK. Now create a new Vue.js app. and open it in VS Code. All right. Now install Firebase on it. Copy all these configs. and add it to the app. But now I don't need analytics. And let me remove these comments. Okay, let's see Firebase Cloud Messaging Documents. Here in this menu, select Web and JavaScript and set up a JavaScript client. Look for Access the Registration Token and use this. First, we need to get a token by get token method. So copy this. And move this to top. And we need a public WAP ID key. Go to the console and go to Project Settings, Cloud Messaging, and generate a key. And this is our public WAP ID key. Now we can get token by using get token method. And here we must save it in our backend server. But now I just use console log. Now we need a service worker. and place it in the root of our app domain. And here it says the file name should be this. So create it in the public folder. We can leave it empty for now. Go back to documents and go to receive messages. And here first, set up message handling for when our app is in the foreground and focused. We need this.
and put it here. And also import it. Okay, now we need to set up our service worker for when our app is in the background or even closed. But now we must use namespace version because the service worker is a raw.js file in public folder and Vit does not build it. Now again we need our Firebase app config here. Now use on background message. All right, this is our message payload, and here is the notification title. And we can get it from payload.notification.title. And this is the notification body. And here is the notification icon. And we can use any type of image file for it. Let's run our app. Okay. If the user allows notification, then Firebase will generate a token, and we can use this token for send message to this user. Let's send our first message. In the console, go to all products and look for cloud messaging. Click on create first campaign and notification. Here enter title and body. Then click on send test message and paste the token here. It works, and because our app is in the foreground and focused, service worker send the message to unmessage method, and here we can update the UI. But if our app is in the background, service worker will send a notification, or even our app is closed, It also works. Now, let's see how to send notifications from a backend server. Go back to the console and in the project settings, go to service accounts tab. And here you can see that we can create our Firebase admin app with these languages. I select Node.js. Just copy this and also generate a private key. I create my admin app here.
and use my private key. Let's see the documents. Go to Server Environments and Build Send Requests. Send messages to specific devices. And here you can see the documents for these languages. I just copy this. I just want to send a simple text notification, so I don't need this. Define notification object here. And define title. And body. We can also add a link to our notification click action. Here in documents, look for link. And just use this. And let me change this because this path does not exist. Now we just need the target token. But we must make some changes here because it seems that the example we copied from the console is a bit old. But it is not a problem. And also we need to install Firebase Admin from NPM. And let's run it. Well, our message was received. And if our app is closed, it also works. And when user clicks on it, the link will open. And the link of the source code of this project is in the caption of this video.